So the Gojo versus Sukuna fight has kind of reached a boiling point right now and we see that Maharaga has actually come out of hiding, Sukuna has fully manifested him and this is not good for Gojo whatsoever. And there's a bunch of different reasons as to why this isn't good for Gojo and this could actually spell the downfall of Gojo but I also want to go over some ways that maybe Gojo could actually overcome this. Before we get into the video though, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed anything you see here today. I make a lot of videos very similar to this one and I'd really appreciate it if you stick around. Thank you. So the fight with Gojo and Sugan has been very interesting since the beginning and we've been following it for a while and we've noticed some very weird things kind of going on. Even Gojo himself has said there's a lot of different things that are kind of weird with Sukuna going on in this fight and the fact that Maharaga has finally manifested in the fight shows us exactly what Sukuna has been doing and what he's been kind of planning in the shadows this entire fight. To really explain what I'm trying to get at right now, we have to realize that Gojo has been saying throughout the fight that Sukuna has been acting kind of weird. He's been doing a lot of very weird things. He's been attacking, doing risky attacks, kind of going out there and putting himself in danger when he doesn't really need to, and especially the fact that he's kind of been only really using Cleave and Dismantle instead of using his Ten Shadows techniques, and I feel like this was a perfect plan by Sukuna to kind of throw off Gojo and actually let himself adapt to many of the different phenomena that Gojo can throw at him. Gojo seemingly never kind of forgot the fact that he does have 10 shadows or Sukuna has the 10 shadows access but with Sukuna kind of only using cleave and dismantle it seems like he was doing that to get Gojo to sort of mentally forget that he has those options at hand. He didn't really use any of the 10 shadows techniques he relied only on his own techniques and this in a way dulled Gojo's senses and made him forget that he had those trump cards in place. Seemingly without Gojo's knowledge, Sugan has been adapting to all of his different attacks and it seems like there have been two instances where we've kind of seen the wheel pop up in the manga. It also makes a lot of sense as to why at the beginning of the fight it seemed like Sukuna was very much on par with Gojo and was on his way to kind of maybe even out edging Gojo in terms of their combat but then randomly he would start to go on the back end, he would start to get hit by attacks that you would think he wouldn't get hit by and he was doing very weird things and it makes sense in the fact that he was trying to purposely adapt to all of Gojo's techniques and I think I mentioned this actually in one of the other videos that I made that he was going to kind of draw out a bunch of the different techniques that Gojo can do so that he could adapt to all of these and one of the biggest things that people did not know if he could adapt to was Unlimited Void and it seems like with this chapter it is possible Maharaga did adapt to it and this is not good for Gojo at all so it seems like he has had almost his entire kit adapted to by Sukuna. Gojo's used both blue and red against Sukuna, he used hollow purple at the beginning of the fight, and if we are right about the fact that the wheel has kind of been present since the beginning, it was obvious that Sukuna has been purposely trying to adapt to all of these, using himself and kind of doing a risky gamble to where he could actually have gotten killed by a lot of these attacks, but he took the gamble and decided, I'm gonna try to withstand these, I'm gonna try to tank these, take all of the hits, and try to adapt to these phenomena. It was honestly an excellent play by Sukuna, it was very risky, very very risky, but only someone on the level of Sukuna could pull this off, and with his confidence, his ability to fight, and his knowledge of Jujutsu, it makes sense that he was able to pull this off, and he was able to get the surprise on Gojo with the fact that Maharaga would pop out fully manifested, and he seemingly has adapted to everything Gojo can throw at him, so we have to theorize or wonder how is Gojo going to be able to defeat this dude that has adapted to his unlimited void, has adapted to his hollow purple, his blue, his red, seemingly everything that Gojo can really do other than maybe physical combat he has adapted to, but we can honestly imagine that maybe Maharaga could even adapt to his cursed energy in general and maybe attacks against him that are physical would be, you know, null and void and maybe Gojo isn't able to really do anything against the dude, but we can only wonder exactly what's going to happen and how far the idea that Maharaga can adapt to Fananana can go. Now, in my honest opinion, I feel like the fight can only really go one way, and that is Gojo does not fight Maharaga. If you can think of a different way this fight can go, please let me know in the comments. I really do want to see everybody's idea of how this fight could play out. I really do love seeing the community's ideas, but me personally, I feel like Gojo cannot fight Maharaga if he has adapted to all of his phenomena. I feel like Gojo will attempt to, but he just will not be able to do it since he has adapted to his entire kit and he can't rely specifically on physical combat to defeat a amped up Maharaga. Although that is the case, it would be very interesting to see them both kind of going hand to hand and seeing Gojo get really pushed to his limits for the first time really in the series since even in the Sukuna fight right now he has not been pushed as far as I feel like he would against somebody that has adapted to his entire kit. 
with that being said, I feel like this is where all of the other members that are kind of sitting on the back foot right now are actually going to come in and they're going to be the ones to fight Maharaga. And I think it would make a lot of sense this way since if Maharaga gets jumped by a bunch of different people, it kind of be hard for him to adapt to everybody since they're going to be throwing all types of different moves at him, doing all types of different things. And I feel like this would be a good way to kind of get all of the other members of Jujutsu High to kind of have their shining moments and do a lot of different things, maybe show off some different moves. And I feel like it would be very interesting if this were to happen. And this would honestly give Gojo a lot of time to kind of, you know, rest his brain, get his brain juices back and, you know, kind of get his cursed energy, heal himself a little bit and just, you know, give him a second to not be tired anymore. I feel like this makes a lot of sense as it would give a bunch of the different members of Jujutsu High their shiny moments and a time to actually fight something in the series since we haven't seen a lot of them do much for a good while now so this would be a good way for them to jump right back into the action and do something very beneficial to everybody. And of course while they're fighting against Maharaga and Sukuna and Gojo are kind of recovering we could actually see Sukuna and Gojo finally have their fight against each other and you know this time maybe Sukuna isn't able to use some of the Ten Shadows techniques or at least he wouldn't have Maharaga to kind to fight off Gojo and this would kind of give them time to finally have a true 1v1 without the use of Maharaga kind of getting in between them you know defeating Gojo. This would honestly be super fun seeing Maharaga fight all of these different people and of course you cannot have Jujutsu Kaisen without a character being jumped so this would make a lot of sense. He's gonna get jumped by a bunch of them. You know this falls in line with the Jutsu you know logic so this is gonna be a very fun fight. We also don't know if Sukun is actually going to just use Rabbit Escape to leave this fight altogether. Some people are saying if he did do that he'd be a big fraud but I just think this would be very funny if he did do that. I doubt he's gonna use Rabbit Escape to just leave altogether but it'd be funny if he tried. With that being said though I think this is just the most obvious way that the fight could go you know having them fight against Maharaga instead since now he's adapted completely to Gojo so Gojo is going to be ineffective against him so it makes sense to have all of the different members fight him try to take him down or at least at the very least stall so that Gojo can finally have his fight with Sukuna but one thing I will say is I feel like a lot of people are forgetting is that Yorozu did give Sukuna that gift at the end of their fight before Sukuna actually defeated her so we actually don't know what this is we don't know what entails or what this gift is supposedly and we don't know if maybe it is something that is a hard counter to Gojo would make Sukuna get out of the fight unscathed we don't know what it is and I feel like a lot of people have already forgotten about that so I'm kind of here to remind everybody that there is something that Sukuna has that might be beneficial to him in this fight and we honestly just don't know what it is so we have to keep our eyes peeled for that and with Sukuna in general you know with the fact that he just has so much knowledge of Jujutsu so much knowledge of curses he's very smart and the fact that he has this item now that might be beneficial to him and he's going to hide it the same way he hid the fact that he had the wheel out is very interesting and I do want to see where this all goes. With that being said though definitely let me know if you guys agreed with anything I said in this video today. I really do feel like this is one of the most obvious ways the fight could go it makes sense to have them fight Maharaga but if you have another idea of the way this fight could play out definitely let me know in the comment section down below also like the video if you liked it and subscribe as it really does help me out and I really do appreciate each and every one of you guys for sticking around and watching my videos you have no idea just how much this means to me and of course with all of that being said I am out peace